Good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> I just wanted to give an update on um, AX's release, their numbers, their attendance for this year. And um, as expected, they beat last year's attendance by um, 7%. So last year they had around 100,000 attendees, unique attendees. Uh, and uh, this year they had uh, 115,000 unique attendees. Um, when I use the word unique attendee, I mean that every person counts as one. Um, some per some um, uh, events will use the term turnstile attendance. Uh, what this means is that every person, for every day that they attend, they count as a person. Um, so you can look at their numbers. Uh, if you look at AX's thing, it'll say uh, unique attendance, 115K. Uh, turnstile attendance will be 300 and something K. Um, that just means that they basically multiply that 115k by times three, you know, or times four, or basically however many people bought four day badges, they added that same person in for all four days. So what the number you really want to compare with uh, is the unique attendance, because every person, no matter how many times they went, counts as one person. With that said, uh, Anime Expo, if they keep gaining that kind of an attendance, they are set to beat Comic-Con in probably, uh, I would say, about two years' time. Um, three tops. Uh, Comic-Con has pretty much maxed itself out. Um, it doesn't really grow anymore. Um, it grows a little bit, but it, it's pretty much capped itself. They sell out of tickets now, and once they're sold, they don't really release anymore. Um... Anime Expo still has room to grow, uh, especially since, now everybody said this Anime Expo, that they oversold tickets, um, and I would agree that they oversold tickets um, for the size of the convention center, uh, but keep in mind that convention center is really small compared to some of the new ones now. Uh, Anaheim has done their remodel, puts them over a million square feet. San Diego Comic Con or San Diego Convention Center is at over a million square feet. Uh, many convention centers are over a million square feet now. Um, so everybody complaining, you know, that it's really cramped and stuff and that Anime Expo did a bad job. Keep in mind that that convention center is, it, the last time it was remodeled was in 94. And it's only at around close to 800,000 square feet. So you're fitting 115,000 people into 800,000 square feet. Uh, they're doing a spectacular job, uh, especially the exhibit exhibitors. San Diego Comic Con has, I think, like 800 or something like that exhibitors. And their, their, their uh, exhibition hall is huge, like absolutely huge compared to Anime Expos. And yet we're fitting almost half of what they've got. We, I think they had like 400 something exhibitors this year. And, you know, they have almost, I think it's like 200,000, 300,000 more square feet of exhibition space than we do. And we're fitting almost as much as they are, you know, pretty close. Um, you know, like I said, you may see 300 may seem like a long ways away, but not with that kind of square footage. Um, so, I would think that with the kind of attendance that we're getting and with the convention center to do to begin its remodel coming up real fast, uh, if it doesn't get delayed, that Anime Expo will be um, America's largest convention uh, for that kind of stuff um, within maybe two to three years time, um, which is really cool. Um, to see something grow like that, uh, even since I started attending, it was only uh, in the um, five-digit numbers um, in 2011. Now we're in the six-digit numbers, and we're growing uh, by 7%, 10% yearly. Um, so it's getting really, really big, really, really popular. It's good to see that that kind of stuff is getting more popular, especially in the United States, and not just in Japan, um, you know, or your Asian countries, 
uh, it's good to see, you know, that many other people are starting to warm up to, um, uh, that kind of stuff, and that it's just, it's growing, you know, um, a lot more accepted, things like that, so I'm very, very happy with that, um, little, with those numbers and with everything that's been going on, um, it's very cool. I look forward to continuing to see it grow um, and become bigger than Comic-Con. Uh, I'm not that big of a fan of Comic-Con. Um, I think that it focuses... Um, it, it, well, a, it's just focuses too much on uh, industry. Like, it's there's not enough... Like, there's cosplayers, but most of the really good ones and stuff, from what I... Oh, actually, from what I've read that I've never attended, from what I've read, most of the really good cosplays are paid cosplayers, um, you know, for like the big companies and stuff like that, um, and they're, they're, they don't really get any character, yeah. whereas Anime Expo, it's, you know, people really enjoy it, and it's like you're around um, people who enjoy it, um, it's a great atmosphere. I love it. I don't really know if I'll like Comic Con if I were to ever go, uh, just from what I've read. I mean, some people might um, disagree, but for the drive and everything, I'd much rather just go to Anime Expo, uh, especially with the way it's growing. Um, so, with that little update, the attendance numbers were in. I read them, I'm ecstatic about the growth. Um, just means that I have to replan my events now, uh, instead of getting there at 10 or whatever, now I need to get there at, you know, 7 and park. The other big news, the other big news is you guys were heard. All the people who said, why don't they mail out badges? Why don't they mail out badges? And I don't disagree. I think that would be a really good idea. Um as far as, you know, making things more efficient, you know, I don't mind paying a little extra if I have to for shipping to mail the badge out, uh, so they are mailing out everyone's badge, if you live in the U.S. and Canada only, um, on 4, or 4AX uh, 2018, so no more standing line, they are going to do a pre-show night again, uh, so they will be doing like a day zero again, but it's going to be for pre-show now, not for badge pickup, unless you really want to. Um, but you're going to have your badge mailed, which is very nice. Um, saves me uh, money for parking. If I don't go to pre-show night, saves me money for parking. Um, and just, you know, it, it's convenient. Um, so I don't mind at all. I'm very happy to hear that. So those are the two big... Um, updates with Anime Expo and the numbers um so uh yeah I mean with that said that is this year's convention I miss it already uh, I'm telling you post Anime Expo depression is a real thing <laughs> but no I have first day of work again today um and I miss the convention already I'm looking forward to next year. Uh, what do we got? Like 360 more days to go or something like that. <laughs> Starts all over for the countdown. Um, so there it is. That's two big updates. Um, I will uh, talk to you all later. Have a good day.